So first of all, I want to send my condolences to anyone who has lost a loved one to gun violence, especially recently, although the pain never stops. And it's something that we all got to stop doing. We got to stop waiting until something happens before we decide we all want to get together and fight against gun violence and fight against violence. We've been proactive about talking in community. We've been proactive about marching in community. You see United Plans out there every day. We do a war against gun activity peace march every single year. We do gun buybacks right in front of this facility quite often during the year. And yet, people really only want to respond after something takes place. My fake Facebook timeline is blowing up now that something happened. But when we call you to a community forum and say, let's talk about how we can all work together to stop the violence. Let's talk about how we can bring SVIP together. Let's talk about how we can bring the police department together. Let's talk about how we can bring the Board of Supervisors together. Let's talk about how we can bring the faith-based community together. Let's talk about how we can bring the public defender, the district attorney, the city attorney, all of our leaders together. The response doesn't come until something already happens. That's what we have to stop. Another thing we gotta stop doing here in San Francisco, and I'm gonna say it to anybody who listening, we gotta stop caring about retail theft more than we do about people's lives. Amen. We have to stop caring about retail theft more than we do about people's lives. There's people in this city who wanna protect clothes and property more than they want to protect people's lives. That has to stop. And I don't care who it is. And they know it, because I said it to their face. Stop protecting Union Square. Stop protecting places where violence ain't happened before you protect places where people are getting killed on the street. And that's been happening for a very long time. So we're here to talk about solutions. We have a violence safety plan in District 10 that we've been working with all my colleagues on that's been supported by all of the leaders that I talked about and we continue to work on that. We continue to work to resource it and we're gonna to continue to do that. But if we don't all come together before something happens, if we're not all proactive in understanding that this person's child and that person's child better be important to you just like your own child, we're gonna to continue to see the same thing. You have to care about other people's children just as well as you care about your children. Amen. Because once you do that, you're going to step up and say, I got to make sure that there's a quality education provided. I got to make sure that these young people can get a job and get the support that they need. But we have to 100% all get fed up with certain communities and certain things getting prioritized over the lives of our young people. And until we get serious about that, this is going to keep happening. If we're going to let the news tell us that when somebody breaks into a building, that they need to have more officers and, and community ambassadors and people in that area than we do in the areas where our young people need us the most. To me, I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. So let's come together and work on these solutions before we see violence in our community. Because I guarantee you, that's the game changer. Coming together and being proactive and being focused on prevention. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for standing up. Thanking you all for being against violence and against guns, which is a major, a major factor in the killing of our young people. Thank you.